When a new technology disrupts an old one, adoption usually happens in an S-shaped fashion, especially when it comes to networked technologies. The effect of a network is proportional to the square of the number of connected users of the system. Thus, adoption of a new network technology starts slow and then expands fast. When everyone's connected, the adoption curve smooths out again. This happened to the radio, the telephone, the TV, the PC, the internet, Google, and Facebook, to name a few. The process was more and more rapid for each one of these communication networks. Because of this, the theory that the price of Bitcoin will stabilize at some point in the future is very common, but it's wrong. Bitcoin's adoption curve will have the shape of a J rather than an S. The fundamental reason is that money and value in general is a relative measurement. In other words, we can only measure the value of other things in relation to the most universal good in society, which by definition becomes its money. Bitcoin, the technology, may have an S-shaped adoption, but Bitcoin, the asset, will experience a very different journey. Hyper-Bitcoinization is the theoretical event in which Bitcoin, the asset, replaces all other money. When everyone stops using their local currencies and starts using Bitcoin instead, you will no longer measure Bitcoin in those other currencies, but those currencies in Bitcoin. The thought is hard to wrap your head around as it is, but in reality, it's even weirder than you can imagine. There's no end point to hyper-Bitcoinization. It is a continuous process. First, everyone in the world starts using Bitcoin. After that, all the money in the world gets absorbed by it. With this, the value of everything else. Once the whole world is on a sound money standard, the world economy will become vastly more efficient and less wasteful at an ever-increasing rate. All the value derived from this increased efficiency represented by Bitcoin. At the same time, Bitcoin's supply rate gets cut in half every four years. Nothing can stop this. This means that Bitcoin's price volatility will increase not decrease. Price volatility upwards, that is. All the money in the world, an ever more efficient market, a capped supply of Bitcoins. In other words, infinite progress. In theory, the purchasing power of Bitcoin can only go up at an ever increasing rate forever. It is beyond mind blowing. It's said that humanity's inability to understand exponentials is our biggest flaw. Bitcoin will prove this. It will sound impossible until it happens. It is already weird, but we haven't seen anything compared to what's about to happen. The old institutions will become obsolete. Empires will fall. The dollar will fall. The earlier you become a sovereign individual, the more you'll enjoy the ride. Fasten your seatbelt. The engines are lit. This rocket will take us to the stars. It's only a matter of time. Only two things are absolutely scarce in your life. Time and Bitcoin. Act accordingly.